Good afternoon. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. QuakePrediction.com is 2.45 in the afternoon, Thursday, November 10th, 2022. 2.45 p.m. Thursday, November 10th, 2022. Serious situation in the uh, San Francisco Bay to northwest of Los Angeles area. And here's the data. Back on the 25th, we had a peak about... Uh, 50 units, I believe it was, and that produced a 5.1. Then we had a peak here on the uh, 27th of October, about 75 units, and a 7.5 quake was possible at that time. And it didn't hit because the energy is needed a little bit more of a kick in the pants to get it going here. And I'll explain that in a second here. This next peak produces 6.0 was not in the San Francisco Bay area because it kind of, uh, because the energy is blocked in that area. So it was west of Big Sur. So it was west of uh, San Francisco Bay, a 6.0 quake hit out in the Pacific Ocean, which was very, very rare earthquake. And then here on the 7th, we had a 668 uh, units of risk, a 6.8 was possible. And that didn't hit. So we had two of them that didn't hit, didn't hit and two that did hit. Now we're coming up to this very, very strong. I've never seen so much energy in the last 17 years of earthquake research. I've never seen so much energy in one spot. Uh, so this has a potential of producing a 7.9 earthquake on November 11th, 12th, or November 13th, the 11th, 12th, or 13th, which is uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And uh, Use different uh, forecast models. This forecast model here, which is a, it works extremely well, uh, had been missing. The, this forecast model was not agreeing with these peaks, these other 7.5, 6.8 peaks, but now it is. So there's uh, an, another forecast models as well. So everything is coming together and all the forecast models are agreeing on a strong earthquake, a major earthquake in, in the California area between San Francisco Bay and northwest of Los Angeles. And uh, most likely in the San Francisco Bay because uh, you see that 98% risk is higher up there in the San Francisco Bay than it is down near Los Angeles. So that's the most likely spot. It's kind of centered around the Coalinga Parkfield area in West Central California. So once again, uh, major earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay to Northwest Los Angeles area in this area, West Central uh, California between tomorrow 11 11 and 11 13 friday saturday sunday the 11th 12th or 13th of november 2022 a 7.9 quake is possible you see this risk and energy is extremely high 79 units and i've never seen it that high by the way 17 years of research so we are looking for a very strong earth please uh, warn your friends and family uh, to be prepared for this this forecast model that we're using with the uh, the graph here is working extremely well. It's about 85% uh, correct now. Here's the, uh, for example, a strong peak that occurred in Italy. We were forecasting about a 5.0 or larger earthquake to hit. And you can see that right here, 5.0 earthquake is uh, likely in Northern Italy, Northern Italy. And there was two quakes that hit in in that area, we had a 4.5 in Northern Italy and a 5.6 in Northern Italy, uh, right on this peak here. And uh, you can see uh, one occurred over here and one occurred over here. So right in that uh, general area of that uh, risk. So that verified that. Uh, <clears throat> we had a, uh, this quake over here was also forecasted, 4.8. We had a spike in risk on, uh, on that day, the 4th of November. And this was 95% risk here in Western Turkey and it hit, boom. And they, they've been verifying very well around the world. New Zealand had a, a very strong risk area here. We thought about 6.5 was possible. And uh, we had this very strong peak here where we got a 7.0 quake uh, just north of New Zealand when that energy uh, peaked. Let's see here. And there it is. Actually, there was three of them, 6.8, 7.0, and 6.6. 6. 
occurred north of New Zealand, right on this spike in risk right here. And this risk was very high in Northern Italy. So, uh, and you can see here in California, this spike in risk produced a 5.1, this produces 6.0. The Italy uh, graph has been working really well and uh, New Zealand and uh, Japan as well. So we have a forecast method based on 17 years of research. We now have almost a quarter million followers, 250,000 followers on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks to every one of you for your support. Uh, please warn your friends and family about this quake coming up in California. This uh, is kind of like having a boulder in the middle of a river. You have that energy flowing around, electromagnetic uh, energy is flowing around. Uh, that boulder, the boulder is the energy, the blocked energy that is happening over San Francisco Bay Area. And it's gonna take a lot of energy to, to move that boulder. We had a 6.0 quake here that hit west of uh, San Francisco Bay, but it wasn't enough to dislodge that boulder uh, that's blocking the energy uh, in the San Francisco Bay area. So even this 7.5 uh, spike in risk there did not move it. This 6.8 did not move it. And this very strong signal, the 7.9, signal 79 risk units very very high i think that will dislodge the block and energy the energy field we use electromagnetic uh, energy to forecast our earthquakes and areas that are blocked is where the uh, quake is most likely to occur so this uh, energy burst in energy here on the 11th through the 13th will i believe dislodge that blockage of energy uh, over the San Francisco Bay. So please warn your friends and family to be prepared for a major earthquake in California between San Francisco Bay and Northwest LA. At least a 6.2 quake, but a 7.9 quake is not out of the question for this forecast period 11.11 to 11.13. Thanks for stopping by and we will keep you updated. We will uh, try to uh, come online uh, at the time of this earthquake. Please warn your friends and family again and uh, stay tuned. Thanks for your support. Almost 250,000 followers, thank you. And 17 years of research. We will talk to you after the earthquake in California. Thanks again. And we'll talk to you soon, stay safe.